Then now the choir started to sing. In that moment when the choir started to sing, I mean, I heard choirs before, but I feel that was a moment that God had an encounter. I had an encounter with God. Because what happened is now, in that moment is actually when I also knew the divide between mind, body, and spirit. Mm. Before, obviously, with a scientific mind, you're just thinking, oh, it's, you know, there's no, there's no soul, there's mm. no spirit, there's no, you know, it's mind, it's, all mind. it's mind and body. body. Yeah. yeah. But how I knew there's a separation now, what happened is I started weeping. Now, weeping like, my body started weeping, like crazy weeping, like I, I couldn't control it. Now, it was, the kind of music that was being sung, sung was very chilled. You know, it was with, they were playing the violin. I remember the violin. It was very chilled. The church was quiet. Mm. And there I was, I was weeping. Now I was embarrassed, you know, because I was weeping like funeral kind of weeping, mm. you know. So now the thing is that while I was weeping, there was no reason for me to weep. Absolutely no reason for me to weep. My mind was calm. There was no reason why I didn't understand why my body is not responding to the condition of my mind. I, did, I had no yeah. reason to weep or to cry, or whatever. And I was witnessing my body weeping. I was, like, I was going to say that you were you were seeing yourself weeping. Yeah. And yeah. this understanding, having this 360 thinking. Exactly. So I was very embarrassed, and I, I what I did, I go, got up, and I walked out of the church. And Mandiva also came with me along and said. What's, what's, what's wrong? So I said, ah, you know what? I, I have no idea what just happened in there. Um, and I was, I was scared. Mm. I was very scared. I was like, ah, no, no, no. Because then I was a student of science. I was like, ah. <laughs> so actually I told him, you know what? I'm not going back in the church. And I, we can make the deal on the three uh, visits to churches. But as long as we don't ha come to this church, because that experience for me was just like, no, no, no. you know what? I, 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 no. So I, I, he said, okay, but do you mind if I go back into church and finish church? And then, so I said, ah, go. He gave me the keys to his car. He sat in the car. <laughs> All church finished and he found me in the car. So when you're in the car, <clears throat> what are you thinking? Is it now messing up your- I'm confused because I'm thinking like how, I thought my body receives instructions from my brain. But I was thinking, oh, how? Why? What just happened? What just happened, yeah. So I was sort of scared. I mean, I thought of everything, you know, when you're just thinking, I thought, oh, okay. Because, you know, the scientific mind is more, I, I, you know, action, reaction. So like, why did I react this way? Mm. What action before? What did, did I eat something funny? Mm. Or did I take some, you know, what, is, what happened? You know, even starting to think paranoid, like, ah, Maybe someone spiked a drink, mm. you know, because you are thinking it has happened and you have to reason why. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, I was just all over the place. Yeah. So he came and yeah, we made that deal. I said, no, like, I don't mind going to church to Tabi, but this church, no, like I don't, I really didn't like what happened. You know, I really didn't like it. And I was embarrassed. I was very embarrassed as <laughs> on top of it. I was very embarrassed yeah. because... My you know, decorum, yeah, we, what kind of... You know, because I was thinking, everyone in that church was probably thinking, hey, this guy's got problems. You know, like, hey, this guy, let's pray for that. Kid. <laughs> let's pray for that young gentleman who just walked out of church. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> and as an introvert, that's like the worst thing that mm -hmm. can happen, yeah. So, I said, Mandiva was, he was calm. He said, ah, no, next week we'll go to another church. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, go to another church. As we are walking into church, I didn't even sit down. Same thing happens again. This time I was actually with my girlfriend oh, at the time. Yo. Yeah, I was dating. Same thing happened. Before I could even sit down, walk out again. I remember I went with my, with, with my girlfriend at the time and I went with a couple of friends of mine. So walked out. For them, they were even it was the kind of way in which you get worried. It's not like, yeah, you get worried, like, hey, okay, what's what's going on? You know? As you were walking in. In. We we're just walking in to try and find my seat. A new church. A new church. <laughs> <laughs> walking in to try and find my seat. <laughs> okay. yeah, that was exactly. 
with no swag. You know, whipping, <laughs> whipping has no swag. There's no swag with whipping because you don't know what liquids will come out from where. <laughs> <laughs> ah no, it was just crazy. So now I go. And out. now you're with people. I'm with people who I you <laughs> won't want to see. Yes, this is what, see you. Uh-huh. And my my girlfriend at the time never ever saw me cry. My friends, you know, as men, you know, we just have yeah. these, you know, yeah. So walk out now outside. Now it's like now I'm a victim now. <laughs> oh. You know, I'm, uh, the ex at the time saying, no, you see, you keep stuff inside. Now giving me a therapy, you know. You should be sharing things. You know, don't bottle up things, you know. Because this is what happens, you explode. <laughs> so at the time, this thing was this, you know. And it's, a, for and, you, it's whole, and it's the same experience, outer body. You're seeing yourself weeping. You're embarrassed in the... In the you're looking at your body, you're going crying. You're seeing exactly. the liquids coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i mean so now i had to add reason to what i was doing so because my friend was saying like what's wrong what's wrong brother? so i remember at the time i just lied i said ah you know what there's a call i got like there's an auntie back home it's family stuff i can't share <laughs> but yeah there's some family stuff going on you know so i i can't really share but yeah like just just, just yeah just keep me just, pray. You know, just keep me in prayer <laughs> But inside I knew, like, hey, a- Mandiva knew though. Yeah. Mandiva knew. So I, I'm sure I was even laughing the whole time inside. <laughs> but I had to say, till you give a reason to. Because actually, what's funny is that, uh, you know, there when you're with, <laughs> you know, the kind of friends you have, you know, reputation is like everything. <laughs> yeah. you know, and, At that age, especially. At that age, especially. Yeah. So I remember even like initially I started by saying like ah no I don't know I don't know what's happening. So when my friend in trying to make the situation a bit light like trying to make us laugh is like ah so like like when you're bored sometimes you just like cry like is it a, <laughs> is it like a hobby like is it just you know like you just squeeze it in there. Like, you just... <laughs> so I knew at all uh, if I don't answer this uh, there will be problems. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, okay. <laughs> <That's hilarious. laughs> so yeah, it did that. But then from that point, I knew I, that's how now mm. I started reading the word. So I Whoa. went, to, I went um, and another thing I think I left out. Actually, before I met Mandiba, um, I went to a year. Um, when I don't know, I began to the concept of God. I was fascinated. Like, why does every civilization everywhere, even in the remotest village, remotest, why do they always ha- want to have a concept of a greater power that they want to worship? As in, I was fascinated by that. Like, mm. who gave humanity this concept that you need to worship some? Because I was thinking from the Aztecs to whatever. There is no tribe anywhere or whatever civilization. I would say even the idea of not having God is a new... I think it's a very new idea mm. in our history of mm. humanity. So I was just fascinated. Like, what well, this I, concept of God, like, where does it come from? Why? So I started searching and studying different religions. So I mean, I, I studied Islam. I studied Scientology. I actually attended one of the Scientology sessions. I was studying Egyptology at the time and understanding what, what that is about. And in looking actually at religions, I didn't consider Christianity. That's how bad it was. I didn't. I said, I'll look at, I'll research this one. But uh, Christianity, I already know this one is fake. Mm. <laughs> this one, like that was how I was yeah. thinking. So I like did do it. Yeah. So I feel God in that thing was trying to... <laughs> but also, yeah. there's a verse that says, and, and this one, I wish it's quoted more, because everybody quotes um, Jeremiah 29 11. Mm. For I know the plans that I have for you, plans for good and not for evil, yeah, plans yeah, for your future. Yeah. But people don't go further exactly. to quote yeah, yeah. Jeremiah 29 13, uh-huh, uh-huh. which says, You will seek and find me when you seek me with all your heart. So you, in your search, search yeah. is seeking. You know, I'm yes. trying to, you're, you're trying, yes. to, you're trying to get answers. And that's why I feel God found me. So like, even right now, even when I speak to an atheist,